Okay, Dr. Buford here. We're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. You didn't have a lot of uh, stiffness in the shoulder once you were under anesthesia. So we're just going to have a look here and see what we can find. As we look at the glenoid down below here, I don't see much in the way of loss of cartilage here. Here's the posterior capsule. This looks fine. The humeral head, you've got some arthritis. We can see that. And we can use our shaver to try and smooth out some of these areas, but this really isn't that bad. But you can see how we can use the shaver to help. Now the biceps, we've already Tino D, and so now we're going to take a look up at the rotator cuff. A little bit thin, but it still looks like it's intact. We're going to go ahead and look on the other side. Okay, so we're in the subacromial space, and that's one of the sutures that we use to attach the bio brace. There's an edge of the bio brace, looks like. It looks like it's still attached on the humeral side, but I'm not sure how solidly attached it is medially. So see, this is still a little loose. I'm going to shave this a little bit because it's already done its job, hopefully. Let me show you some more in a little bit. I'm just making sure we get all the way to the back here. Okay, so I still think we've got some looseness here. We're going to see if we can use this biter. We may not, it may be too strong to bite. It kind of is. So we'll go back to using the shaver in just a minute. Just wanted to check and see if we could use our biter. But even at nine months, we're too strong to bite. Let's try one more time here. Yeah, either our shaver's too dull, I mean our biter's too dull, or the bio brace is too strong. Probably the bio brace is too strong. Okay, pause. Okay, so here you can see we're taking down the last little bit of this. I'll need a grasper in a minute. Okay, so we've taken out the medial part of the bio brace that was loose. 
trying to decide if we have to do anything there. It's well incorporated laterally here, but there's still a little bit right here, isn't there? That might be a little bit loose, and that is a little concerning. Nothing back here. There's another suture from the cuff repair. And as we rotate laterally, okay, pause. Okay, I think we're done. I just don't want to take any more down. I don't want to create a new cuff tear. We're good here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. We'll probably have to bring you back to the office and consider doing a series of like PRP injections to try and get this to really seal down and heal. But I think we're done with the, um, with the debridement, and I'm glad we got that loose part of the graft out. Just making sure we can see everything here. And again, over here, this is well seated. Just trying to see if there's any defects laterally here, and there really does not appear to be anything to worry about. So. We're going to finish up here. And we're going to get you back to the recovery room. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit later. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.